Hello everybody and welcome to Extreme Rules, the pay-per-view, first pay-per-view of the Raw's War show. We have Michael Cole interviewing the machine, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sitting here with the machine who was vi who viciously attacked Rey Mysterio last week. You see that typo with the machine? Shit. My question is, why machine? Why? <laughs> it's really simple, Cole. It is my job to be the enforcer of the establishment. And Rey Mysterio is not in a position to turn down such a great opportunity. And now Infamous has been gracious enough to give him a chance at revenge tonight. Rey is going to be an example to this roster. Don't go against the establishment. Extreme Rules. The Machine versus Rey Mysterio is next. I don't know why he was doing an interview in the ring. That makes no fucking sense. Alright, is the machine versus Rey Mysterio. Can Rey Mysterio get his revenge on the machine? The man who attacked him courtesy of Infamous and the establishment. Rey Mysterio currently getting his ass whooped. I don't think Rey Mysterio has even hit, even breathed past the machine so far. Machine is fucking, his legs are maybe the longest legs I've ever seen on a human being. I'm starting to think he's not human. Machine now showing off. Look how big, how long his fucking legs are. That makes no sense. He just beat the shit out of him. <laughs> yeah, he can't do anything. Hashtag Extreme Rules, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoy us beating you over the fucking head with Twitter interaction over and over. It's, it's what's best for business, to be honest with you. I know you love it, guys. Remember, this is an Extreme Rules match. They can't go outside and get weapons if they please. And he's going to the table. Oh shit! And how does Ray, Myster Ray Mysterio no sales the the fucking the table? Ray Mysterio would never work in his business again, ladies and gentlemen. I can guarantee you that after that, he just no sold that by the machine. I don't like that. See, he'll he'll never work here again. This is his last match, ladies and gentlemen. This is his last match in Raw's War. I can fucking guarantee you that after that. That's a wrap. The machine just completely destroys Rey Mysterio. Good job, the machine. This is hard to watch. Rey Mysterio is being carried out on a stretch after that ass whooping. It had to be him going through the table and no selling it. Rey being taken to the back. I don't think he's okay. I, I don't think so either. Vernon Axelrod versus Chico Jr., ladies and gentlemen. Vernon Axelrod to stars beating the shit out of Chico again. Can Chico... Finally defeat Vernon Axelrod. He has lost him every damn week because of him. It's been his fault most of the time. But can he finally do it tonight at Extreme Rules? Because I guarantee you he probably won't get another chance, to be honest with you. Vernon Axelrod is fired up. Oh, he reverses it. Vernon Axelrod going to the top rope, ladies and gentlemen. Elbow to the from the top rope. Vernon <laughs> Vernon Axelrod is putting Chico in trouble right now. This is electric. Oh no! Wait a minute, Cole. What's he gonna do here? Vernon Axelrod with an elbow. There's a lot of things under the ring, and all of them hurt. Let me remind everybody. Oh, oh well, and, and Chico Jr. no sales to chair hit. Just like his, his probably Mexican cousin, Rey Mysterio. I don't know what's wrong with Hispanics for this show, but they acting out. I don't know what their problem is tonight at Extreme Rules. But for some reason, they fucking around. And y'all all gonna get fired. Apparently, that's trouble with the camera. It's, okay. 
And he just he just lets Vernon steal it from him. <laughs> Need no sales again, but gets a DDT because of it. I don't know why you would. I don't know why you would taunt at that point. That taunt could have cost you the fucking match. <laughs> Two. Oh, he kicks out. Good for him. Chico Junior might be able to do it. They're cheering for him. They're cheering for him to keep fighting. I don't. For some somehow uh, they built another table for Jerry Lawler and. Uh, Michael Cole to say that again. They were pretty quick on their feet with that. Another elbow. He goes for a second one. Another elbow. DDT. He is not playing any games with Chico Jr. Chico. Oh, nice move. Once again, he has to be going for the finish. That has to be it. For Axelrod. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. One, two, three. That is it. Vernon Axelrod once again destroys Chico Jr. Chico Jr. has not won a single match. Who is this? A limo is coming to Extreme Rules. Who is this? It's Miley Cyrus, ladies and gentlemen, coming to Extreme Rules. She was not scheduled to be here. I don't know what she's doing here. Ladies and gentlemen, the women's match. Olga is currently the women's champion. She's the first person in Raw's War to win a title. The other titles are vacant right now. But Olga is the women's champion. And it's up for grabs tonight. Olga versus Brittany. You see Brittany with Miley Cyrus by her side. <laughs> Brittany Rain coming out. They're letting her hear it for, for her big breasts and big ass, apparently. My Cyrus is staying back there for some reason. She doesn't know what the hell to do. Is Brittany the... Okay, and somehow she appears over there. Is Brittany the fan favorite versus the heel, Olga? Let's see who wins, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Brittany versus Olga. Brittany, so far, this is their first time going against each other. Olga has done a lot of damage to Brittany and Miley Cyrus. Miley Cyrus getting on the, the ropes. I don't know what she's planning on doing. She already got her ass whooped by Olga. Nice hurricane runner from Brittany. Brittany finally able to get her hands on Olga completely. Usually people have either broken it up or Olga hit her with a surprise attack. Nice reversals by Olga. That's what she does. She's very strong. Brittany is very agile. More kicks by Brittany. Another Hurricane Rana. See, Brittany is basically the Hulk Hogan of women. She doesn't have too many moves. And she fucks that up. Chico Jr.-esque. Maybe it was the turnbuckle. She goes to that one instead. And she gets it. I guess it was the turnbuckle. The sacrifice you must be willing to take to compete in the big leagues in the WWE is unreal. Brittany is a great uh, agile wrestler. When she wants to be, she can do certain moves. But Olga reverses so well. And even though she lets, she fucks that move up completely. That's a botch. Brittany with her buster. This might be it for Olga. One, two, three. Brittany finally gets her hands on Olga and beats the shit out of her. Brittany is now your women's champion, ladies and gentlemen. She does it. She finally did it once and for all. Brittany is now the women's champion. Miley Cyrus comes in to celebrate with her. She finally did it. Uh oh, it's GM infamous. Did you seriously bring a couch into my locker room? Yeah, it's kind of my thing. Anyway, I saw your match tonight. You did pretty good. You took care of Mysterio pretty well. 
I didn't fight Rey Mysterio. I fought Chico Jr. Oh, whatever. Same thing. Anyway, I decided that you'd be perfect for the establishment. Isn't it just a copy of the corporation angle from the 90s? Never heard of it. Anyway, Ken Shamp, I mean Vernon, you down? How much do you pay? 1000 for every ass kicking. I'm in. You see that? As soon as he flashed the money, everybody is always in. The establishment can get anybody it pleases. Prototype is getting ready for his match. Wait a minute. Prototype has just been ran over. What the hell? Just happened in my Jim Ross voice. Prototype has just been ran over. My God. <laughs> my God. J.I. voice. What is going to happen now? Prototype still has to wrestle, ladies and gentlemen. But I'm sure he's not in the condition to wrestle after he just got fucking run over. And I'm pretty sure this man here knows a little bit about it. It just is pretty ironic that as soon as he's about to fight Prototype, Prototype gets fucking run over by somebody. Come on now. As you can see, Prototype made it to the ring, but he is not moving like we know Prototype moves. He's very much in pain. He's making a comeback, but you can see he's pretty hurt. I don't know if Prototype is going to pull this one out, ladies and gentlemen, but if anybody can, it's Prototype. He's done so much. He's won so much. He's dominated so many people. As you can see already, he's holding his head after that attack with the, um, the, the uh, car. And he's already busted open, ladies and gentlemen. He's already busted open. This was no doubt a plot by Killjoy to win this match easily without even having to actually fight Prototype pretty much because he is not at full strength. And this is just bullshit, ladies and gentlemen. It's bullshit. He cheated. He cheated to try to win this match. Here comes Killjoy's finisher. On the outside, you have to think he's going for that briefcase. Wait a minute, he's not going to the light. He's not done yet. And he hits him with a steel chair. You can see the blood all over the chair. Prototype is in trouble. Prototype has never been busted open in a match before. He's never been this close to actually losing either. Killjoy is a very good wrestler, but he stoops very low just to win. Oh, he's going to work on that leg. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, Jesus Christ. That has to be broken. The ankle has to be broken. My God. In a JR voice. This is over, ladies and gentlemen. That ankle. The prototype is just getting the life beat out of him right now. I don't know how he can continue to fight. He hits the table in the ladder. Uh-oh. He's going for the turnbuckle. Here it goes. Can he do it? Jesus Christ. On top of the table. Prototype has had enough now. Just get the damn briefcase. I'm going to keep replaying this. I don't know why. We've seen it like seven times already. He's going for that briefcase. Damn it. He just cheated to beat the prototype. Can he do it? Prototype gets back up. That shows you how much of a fighter prototype truly is, ladies and gentlemen. Wait a minute. Prototype gets the flatliner. Can prototype do this? Can prototype do it, ladies and gentlemen? Prototype gets down for some reason. I guess he knew Killjoy was getting up. He wanted to make sure he stayed down. There may be a mistake as Killjoy has his finisher again. I thought Prototype was going to defeat the odds and do it. Another finisher. Killjoy is going up that ladder, ladies and gentlemen. This might be it. Remember, Prototype has never lost a match before. But he can't get it. Oh, 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 man, that briefcase is really locked in up there. He's got a hold of that briefcase. Can he, 
Prototype pulls him down. No, he just can't do it. He couldn't do it in time. Prototype is still fighting despite being run over by a damn car and getting two finishes from Killjoy. He is still fighting. Oh, he gets knocked down somehow. Prototype is still fighting. He's been run over. He's been beaten. Put through a table. Two finishers. The prototype is still fighting, ladies and gentlemen. That might be it. At this point, I just want the match to end. Prototype is not in. And Killjoy gets it. Damn it. For the first time, Prototype loses a match, ladies and gentlemen. Wait a minute. He's still beating up on, on Prototype. He's had enough. You run him over. And had two finishes, hit him with a lot of chairs, put him through a table, and you're still beating him. You step in my ring again, boy, and I'll make sure you'll never walk again. You hear? He's even talking shit to the prototype. You run him over and you cheated to win. Prototype loses his first match, ladies and gentlemen. Now take your ass back to Hollywood, you piece of shit. This is sad to see, ladies and gentlemen. Prototype loses his very first match to Killjoy. What's going to happen next?